We're gonna start on this side, work our way over. I'm Jeremy with Old Florida Bee Company. Today we are harvesting our wildflower honey, our fall flow, which you would buy in your Florida cracker honey. And uh, we will go in here, we will strip down all the boxes of honey that we have, run the bees out, and then we will check each hive for hive health going into winter, as this is a crucial part uh, to keep the bees healthy. So we'll go into each hive and we will check for the queen to make sure it's queen right, make sure that queen's still laying a good pattern of eggs, make sure it still has uh, plenty of brood to hatch out since those bees are gonna be our winter bees since they live longer in winter. So then this one here is queenless. So we know that it doesn't have a queen. You can kind of tell the way the bees are fluttering. Uh, but what we look for is, we're not looking for her, we're looking for her egg. And as long as we can see egg, we know it's got a queen. So then what we'll do too is we'll scan it. We'll scan the hive and it's gonna tell us what we did the last time we were here. Now we know the last time it was queen right since July 29. And um, we know whose queen it was. It was our sure queen on July 29th. So then that goes to the database and we'll analyze it at the end of the year with everything. That's a new age. So that's what we want to see. We have all that sealed brood there. We still have some drones. Your drones are here. There's your drone, which is your male bee. So as long as there are drones in there, that means they still have enough resources. That's as good as it gets. It's exactly what we want to see. Healthy bees, a pollen ring around it. So you have all your pollen, that's bee bread because it's sticky. So the bees will mix some honey and pollen, and that's what they'll feed to these bees, the next generation of bees. So that's called bee bread. So that's different than just dry pollen. And that's what you want it. But the bees look healthy, they look good. So like that is a great shot because that's like, makes us proud when we see that. That's a really good bee population. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're after. The bee population is the name of the game. Yeah, it's conservation. Yeah. It really is. I mean, people think, you know, Oh, you don't care, it's factory farm. No, I mean, we gotta have these healthy. We, we care, obviously we wouldn't care, we wouldn't spend the money to run that app for us to track the hive health continuously, how much honey produ it produces. Uh, these are all things we want because we're dependent on each other. Like I said, the bees are dependent on us to keep them alive and we're dependent on the bees to produce so we can have a livelihood. So we're now here at the honey house in Monica City where you've seen where we've pulled honey we bring the honey back to the honey house here. We put it into our building, try to get all the bees out. We'll go through our extracting process now. We will take the frames out, put it through our Dakota Gunness uncapper. We'll have a loader who will grab those frames that are uncapped now making the honey available. And he will put them into our spinner and it uses centrifugal force to spin the honey out. It will go down into our stainless steel sump come up, get pumped up into our honey wax separator, which separates our wax from our honey, and it will go into our big holding tank where we drum it in our 55 gallon drums. This is just the raw process. We'll then take that wax that we have from our honey wax separator, we'll bring it to our wax melter, and our wax melter will melt it down, separate the dirt, which we call the slum gum, the whatever remaining honey is left, in there, we'll go into a different bucket, and then we just have our pure raw beeswax where we'll mold it into whatever size uh, pans that we need. And that's basically the start from finish. We just try not to waste anything that the bees give us. 